Aloha everybody, it's Hawaii's Only. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to make miso yaki salmon with a scallion soy demi-glaze. Hang out, I'm gonna take you through the steps and the tutorials, it's gonna be a good one. Uh -huh. Welcome to the channel, Hawaii's Only. My name is Kale D. Shanks. We specialize in catch and cook videos where we go into the ocean, we go fishing, get some fresh fish, and we chef it up for you right on camera. We also do a lot of cooking tutorial videos for seafood recipes. Like, subscribe, comment. Let's get started with the miso yaki salmon. To start, we have two cups of miso paste, red or white, it doesn't matter. We add in a third cup of Japanese midin. If you need to get access to midin, just click the link below. Here we have shoyu or soy sauce with sugar. So we take two tablespoons of soy sauce, about a fourth cup of sugar, mix that up together and pour that in. Then we're gonna add in two tablespoons of Japanese sake, and then we're gonna finish it with two tablespoons of rice wine vinegar. Link will be below if you need access to that. We take all these ingredients and you're just gonna mix it up and that's it. Okay, so you're just gonna mix all of your ingredients until it's smooth like this. This is our marinade. Now we're gonna prepare our salmon. Try to get skin on. And the reason why we're gonna get skin on um, is because when we cook the salmon, we're gonna cook it skin side down and the skin is gonna act as a protective barrier for the salmon so it doesn't stick to our pan. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about in a little bit. So if you can, if you cannot, it's not a big deal. To prep the salmon, all you're gonna do is you're gonna make um, diagonal cuts like so. And this is so that we can, um, for one, marinate the salmon great. And then two, when we cook all these cuts in the salmon is gonna make a nice little crust, a uh, crispity, crunch, crunchy part, and it's gonna retain all of that uh, marinated flavor under the boil, the broiler. So we're just gonna make diagonal cuts like this, which in turn is gonna make little squares on the fish. So we've got our salmon all prepped and cut. That's the squares I was talking about. Okay, so we're gonna Go ahead and put this in the marinade, like so. You don't really gotta marinate the skin um, because we're not gonna be eating that part. But just for good measure, I just put dumped the whole thing in here. So this is what it's gonna look like. One big juicy marinade. Put that in our plate or bowl. Okay. So you're gonna marinate both fillets, like seen here. Then we're just gonna take the leftover marinade and pour it all over the two salmon fillets. We're gonna let this hang out, just cover it and then put it in the fridge. Just let it hang out from anywhere from half an hour to one hour. Some people like to marinate overnight. Um, I think that the miso is really strong so you don't have to do it, but um, depending on the fish that you're working with, um, it'll, it'll be your call. But for salmon, I think half an hour to one hour is plenty of time. We've got our miso yaki marinated salmon that uh, was sitting in the refrigerator. Now we're gonna take it off and we're gonna try to squeeze off as much um, miso as possible. All this off. The reason why you wanna take all this off is when we place this under the, um, the broiler, the miso is gonna burn. So we wanna try and take as much off as possible. Take this off. Like that. Just like that. We're gonna place this under a broiler on high heat for about seven to 10 minutes and that's it. Okay. While our salmon is working under the broiler, we're gonna start our sauce. We're just gonna take a little bit of spring onion and then we're gonna take about a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half of soy sauce. And then to that, we're gonna add in about two to two and a half tablespoons of honey. This is where you're just gonna go and um, do it by taste. But basically, miso is salty. So we want more of a soy sweet flavor here. That's what we're going for, okay? So about a tablespoon of, of shoyu soy sauce and about two tablespoons, two and a half tablespoons of honey. 
okay then we take about one tablespoon of this leftover miso sauce and then we're going to just mix this and add this into the mix remember the miso is salty so you may have to add in a little bit more honey or a little bit more sugar okay bring this to a boil and then reduce it down till you get a nice glaze like so guys guys we did it again miso yaki salmon we're about to plate and finish oh this bug is hot we're gonna finish this off um we're gonna plate with the uh soy scallion glaze okay we've got a portion of our miso yaki salmon we've got our scallion okay and then we just finish with a little bit of sauce a little bit though not too much We have two different Japanese garnishes to finish this plate here. We have the SNB Togarashi Spice Mix. A little bit of salty, a little bit of sweet, and a little bit of spice. And this is gonna be one miso yaki salmon dish. And then the next, we have a miso yaki salmon with soy scallion glaze and nori furikake. I hope you guys enjoy this episode. I will see you guys next week, Saturday. Aloha.